Hi friends, my name is Akshans and welcome to CAD Academy. In this lecture of image analysis and processing, I'm gonna apply the low pass filter kernel and the high pass filter kernel over an image that is cameraman.tio here. We'll see the corresponding results. In this program, I'm applying the low pass filter over an image. So the image uh, that we have taken is the cameraman.tio. So in the first line, I'm reading the image cameraman.tio. Uh, by using the command that is what i am read okay now uh, in the second line i'm multiplying the image matrix i with 1 divided by 256 i'll tell you the reason behind this uh, for for now let's move further this is a low pass filter kernel i'm defining here okay so uh, 111 111 111 and multiplying this whole matrix with 1 divided by 9 then uh, after defining the low pass filter kernel now I am applying the convolution that is 2D convolution and the function for this is conv2 ok so i is the original image I am applying the low pass filter kernel lpfk here this one ok and I am writing same here so I am subplotting in the first section I am plotting the original image i that is this one and uh, in the second section I am uh, I am plotting the convoluted image so Let's run the program and let's see what the results comes. Okay, so now here, this is the original image and this is the low pass filtered image. So we know that low pass filtered image has a blurred version of this original image and that's what we are getting. Now, let's come to the reason why we multiplied 1 divided by 256 with this original image. Okay, so reason behind this, this convoluted image has the pixel intensities ranging from 0 to 1 this is the minimum 0 and the maximum is 1 here okay so for that we have to convert the original image intensity level ranging from 0 to 1 and that is done by dividing the whole matrix by 256 so here you can see uh, this uh, original image has the minimum value of 7 and maximum value 253 but uh, after dividing with the 256 we are getting this 0 and 1 here ok ok let's see uh, what if convoluted the image i that is original one ok and uh, what if we applied the low pass filter over this image then the result will be white image ok this white image because the system was expecting pixel intensity ranging from 0 to 1 but we gave what 7 and 253 so which is uh, definitely a more than 1 and we will definitely get a white image when we apply this original image this original image in the convolution part okay so what we have to do we'll apply the that is already divided with 256 and then when we will do this we will get the fine results now let's move to the high pass filter we have this original image now again we are multiplying with 1 divided by 256 for the same reason defining the high pass filter kernel here that is this one again applying the 2d convolution by using the function con2 this is the image i this is the high pass filter kernel here okay writing same here to get the same size of the convolution image as that of the original image now i'm subplotting here at the first section i'm plotting the original image at the second section i'm plotting the convoluted image now running the program now here you can see this is the original image wherever we have a large jump like here uh, let's say we have a pixel intensity around 200 at this point and this is around like let's say 20 or 30 so 200 230 it's a big jump so for all the big jumps we are getting this white line here okay so from here to here we are getting a big jump so that's why we have this white line at the border similarly at this point we can see this is the black point here this is the white point here so from black to white or white to black at this border line we are getting this white line here at the high pass filter image so this is the reason why we applied the high pass filter to to get all the jumps over the image 
thanks for watching the video and please share it with your friends and uh, please hit the subscribe button